um, right in the song. That's um, why I was thinking about using using the sample and see what we could do with that. Yeah, if we even okay. wanted to keep it with that, because um, you sent it to my email. Yeah, cause I don't know. I was listening to this Russ song, and he chopped it up in a different way that I, re I was really fucking with. So obviously you could chop that up a certain, like some yeah, different types we'll of ways see, and speed it up. Let's we'll see up. if we can find. We gotta find the right key. Cause then I feel like the chorus could be that because it pertains to the song heavy. Right. Sample. Try what? Try try uh, muting the original beat sample. So the oh, uh, just using the yeah yeah. yeah. So that way it kind of repeats that waiting part twice. So right, that way right. you can have a two bar loop and then I, mean, I, I, really, I like Like right there, okay, and then keep it going right here, but we're gonna have to chop this Chop off the very okay. end, like second. Yeah. You know. Is this? So this it might switch the tempo up to the original shit. Is that cool? What was the original tempo? Uh, the original tempo was ninety two, but it might switch. So here, let me just let me just say what we got right here, because if because now I might have to I'm gonna have to like base it off of off of the sample now. You know okay. what I'm saying? Instead okay. of off of what we had for the beat. So low key, yeah. So the, the the tempo kept the tempo the same. So For we sure. know. So we don't have no issue with that. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Just had some quality studio time with Jake. Um, probably got halfway done with making the beat for Left on Red. We made a studio time for Friday, so we're gonna wrap that up and then uh, start wrapping the actual song. Um, really excited because we're using one of my favorite samples, uh, Tell Me Why by Shiloh Dynasty. And um, I don't know, any any beat with Shiloh Dynasty samples are just fire as usual. So um, yeah, I'm excited. The rest of this week, we're gonna be filming some things um, for the Gone Music video. And we're gonna be doing a couple of um, client projects for 
uh, Dr. Pryor, who's a plastic surgeon out here in Rockford. So stay tuned. <laughs> Some people are like, bro, you got a whole fucking keyboard right there. What are you doing? Like, like I'm so used to doing yeah, this, no, bro. Yeah, I get you, yeah. Because, like, I would, I do this on my laptop. Right, right, right. You know Same. what I'm saying? So it's like... I got the keyboard and everything, too. Yeah, yeah it's so much easier. Yeah, I, I, a lot of times, bro, I'll just manually it do it like that, bro. Yeah, I write it in. I write it in sometimes, too. Like, in this case, because I have to go higher, and I can't go higher. Cause I don't yeah, have, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I'm, like, such a visual person, so I really That's love to kind of see it. Yeah. That's how I am, mostly. So, and I, I go like mostly by ear too. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Right now we're just um, pretty much adding some like under, uh, what would you call these under chords? Like just chords underneath the... Uh, it's just a little piano run. Yeah. yeah it's a little Essentially piano Essentially we're just adding a little it's bit a little melody more. melody to it. Right, right. Just another melody to the... To the beat itself, um, super fire so far. Um, so majority of this stuff you guys haven't seen because you know um, Jake just on his off, off time he was just killing it on his own. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're just adding some kind of, kind of like some nice finishing touches with it and just kind of seeing where we want to take it with it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the gist. Um, this is like the whole process. We'll we'll probably strip it down afterwards and play like one instrument at a time to show you guys how uh, it's all done. So with this um with this beat I really wanted this Shiloh Dynasty sample so essentially what we did was we took that and um, we just kind of sped it up a little bit and then um, uh, I really wanted some like strings like some violins kind of make it like a all of the lights vibe like the interlude for uh, Kanye West's album so yeah. Okay. So it's like it's always like when I when I when I hear it, it's like maybe try like know. pads. Yeah. Uh, well, it's kind of a pad. It's it's kind of like this, but I I want like that the initial punch okay. to it. Okay. Yeah. Like this type. Let's take the delay off. How's the structure as far as like what where let me hear what you got right, for the legs. Yeah. I mean it's pretty spot on, but if we want to like take some parts out. Like there are some things, so the original beat that we had, right? Yeah. yeah. Um there were some parts where it was just kinda like like y you'll understand. Um where it's like some parts are just taken out for like a dramatic pause. Oh yeah, like drops yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, could kind, do that kinda in, like that, yeah. yeah that's cool, yeah. yeah. So well just do you know do you know how to uh, count bars and uh, like how to yeah. count yeah, bars? Yeah. And okay, so so tell me how you got a structure. So you got I have the, it. The um, intro. Is there an intro? So like, that intro, that space, that's yeah, that's, that's, that's about that's it. That's yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. 
So and then it just goes into first verse, then chorus, then second verse, then chorus. Okay, the first verse. How long is the first verse? Um, Twelve. I believe. Let me count real quick. I gotta. Well, here. Uh, I'll play the beat and you can shuffle sure. right there. I'll just rap it real quick. Yeah. yeah. So this is the. I'm gonna get it. It's 16 bars. 16? Yeah. Okay, so I think I had it right. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely had it right. And this will be the hook. Right here, yeah. Cool. And then, okay. Is it two verses? Yeah. Two sixteenths? Yeah. I normally write, so I normally do two sixteens in chorus and Okay. So another thing, like, you know how I'm like doing like this in the making stuff, like how we're just making this? Yeah. Um I have this thing called Behind the Bar. Okay. So every song that I drop, I drop like a rap genius of me explaining bar for bar what oh, it yeah, is. Yeah, okay. And then also I have another series called Behind the Beat. Okay. Where um I or the producer sits down, and we just literally go over everything that we did for the whole beat. That's cool, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I fuck with it. Yeah. I'd I'll, like for I'll it to break, die out. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I'll break because it all down. The ending of the the so the whole series for this thing, the maybe movie, I can put the horns in for that. Uh, Maybe I can like go crazy like on some like fucking just like yeah. bring it out out. It Yo, the, I got some, some dope shit. ideas. So I'm trying to make it so like everything kind of makes sense with the visuals, right? Right. So in the beginning, we're at Don Carter Lanes or whatever, okay. um, and we're bowling. Hit up a girl. We we she we, she agrees to go out. Right. Separate scenes of us both getting ready okay. back to back. Um, but she goes out to a club instead, and I'm left waiting for her at a restaurant. Okay. And that's when I'm rapping the chorus, like straight up looking into the, the camera. I'm just rapping into it while everyone's like around, all around me. Okay. And then some cutaway shots I was going to have is at the Lincoln Park, um, like, fuck, what was it called? The thing. And over there, I was just kind of rap more of the chorus and the lyrics and kind of go more emotional with it. Okay. I feel like that horn stuff would really be kind of tight. Like for the end? Yeah. Because then I could kind of be just kind of go like vibing out. Why, right. Yeah. Okay. This spot's dope, bro. Oh, sh oh yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so essentially, this is like a way different, uh, this is different than the last week. Yeah. Than like the original Left on Red. Right, right, right. My main concern was just trying to get the drums, you know? Because yeah, oh, like, yeah. Because like, some of the, some of the inflections or some of the, the flows that I had built in mm. just were based off. Of, yeah, yeah. No, I feel you. Yeah, I definitely uh kept this kept the same uh kick pattern. Yeah, definitely. Try to use the same like snare and hi hat. But, like everything else, like like from here on, like pretty much like this is how I wanted to do all these beats. You know, right? Like, just, just like recreate it. Yeah, kind of, exactly. Right? Just because on YouTube I can't be like, hey man, make this beat real quick. Right. Like make it like this. Make use this sample. Right. Let's tweak this. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm already known. That's the benefits of having a producer. Oh okay. god. I gotta take a picture later um, okay. with the studio and you working or whatever That's to cool. do because uh, for the Gone video, yeah. um, well for the last week 10 creative struggle, um, it's just like a studio session and just a small little filming. Okay. That's what we had um, and it was just like the recording process for Gone and it was, it was really funny because like um, obviously this doesn't have auto tune, right, but like right. when we're doing our thing, so right, we're hitting so these can... notes and it sounds pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious, bro. You're gonna shit yourself That's funny. laughing. That's funny. And um, I I keep saying like, hey, check it out. Like, you just wait till the end. Just wait till the end. And then um, it was just dope. And I showed like I kept it long just to show people the process of all right, now keep doing it, keep doing it. You're almost close. Right, you're right, almost right. there. You're almost there. Just like kind of like showing them the whole process of it. That's dope. So uh, yeah, it'd be cool if you ever want to show your clients. Be like, yeah, like this is essentially how I operate. You know, like. I try to help you out. I'm like I obviously do the producing thing, but right, I help right. you out and hit these notes and whatnot. Right. Yeah. I wanna I wanna hold like uh I wanna do like a 
um, start doing like courses and stuff after all this shit. Is, oh like, yeah, bro. The, Dude, I want to do. Like, I'd be courses, honored. Yeah. I literally just shot that master class from Malik. Yeah, that's what I'm so, talking about. Yeah, that'd be dope, bro. I want to do that. Um, one of my uh, one of my uh, mentors from um, a while back. He uh, he owns the. Um, it's called RX Tech Prep. Okay. And it's a um, pharma. It's you get your. Um, uh, I don't even know what you call it. Your pharmaceutical license, I guess, to okay. where you can work like at Walgreens or any other place, and you can um, you can handle like medicine and stuff and yeah, know, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And um, so normally, normally uh, it takes uh, up to two years to get yeah, here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of my friends work in pharmacies. For his, for his course, it's like, um, I think you get you get certified in uh, like six to eight months. Word? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Because right after you get certified, you get hella money, dude. Yeah, bro. So you start at like... Uh, My friend started 17? at 13. Yeah, 13. Okay, and then yeah. after the certification, he's at like 19 or yeah. 20. Yeah, so like... uh, And and it's only... uh, I think it's one day a week. What? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. He, um... Yeah, he's a real good dude. Real good dude. He taught me a lot about just everything. And uh, so he, yeah, he's an entrepreneur. And mm -hmm. he's always into, like, into stuff. Me and him used to collab on a yeah. bunch of stuff all the time. And uh, he has he has this building right off of Perryville. Um, where's it at? Perryville. And it's right after JMK. Like, there's this big-ass fucking, like, building on the left side going towards RBI. And, uh... It's this big building, and he has, like, yeah. a conference room in there, and, like, he has, like, this is where he holds his classes, Word. and he, he, like, told me, like, I can use those rooms, and one of the rooms looks like, that's what he holds his classes that's in, shit. that's what I want, I want to use. So like, you want to do, class. like, a live session? Yeah, I want to do something classes. live, oh, yeah. okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. I was going to say, bro, because we could do, like, online shit, sell or even, your shit. even online shit, Like, yo. sell yeah. your shit outside of here, too, because, yeah, bro, that. people would eat that shit up, and then again, bro... It doesn't cost you any time. Like, what after the initial amount that you right, put in. Right, Like, it's just literally out there and, like, 200, 300 bucks, like, per yeah, person, bro. bro. Yeah. He told, he's, he's the one that inspired me really to, uh, to write, he, he like, to write an ebook and shit, too. Right. So, like, I've been, I've been kind of dabbling in that, in that Hell shit yeah, a little bit, too. That's what's up, man. Uh, import. Oh. Some of my goals, uh, in the future for, uh, Icon Music is to have like a podcast slash like Joe Put like Joe Button podcast type of thing. Yeah, that we do that right now. A word? Yeah. Where? At? So I have this podcast. I it's called Podcast uh Podcast Pro or something like that. Yeah. So it's like an all in one deal, bro. Okay, cool. I cool, just cool. dropped like yeah, I literally just like a month ago just dropped like thirteen hundred yeah. on it. It's got I have a uh, four mics and it's all in one, bro. Like literally, it's got all your levels and shit yeah, yeah, up to four up. mics. You, it records right on there, da da da, whatever, and it's like professional ass, quality ass, right, like, right, right. It's crazy as fuck, bro. How much bro. did you drop on it? Uh, there's like thirteen hundred for okay, everything. Okay, wow. For everything, That's yeah. Dumb cheap, bro. Came with a box. Came with like a nice dust proof, like fucking life proof box, and it, it everything fits right in there, bro. Like, well, it, only two mics fit in there, but um, I got other mics and shit too. Right, right, but right, right. It's it's dope, bro. I'll That's have what's to, up, uh, man. I'll have to invite you over one for time. For sure, man. I'd love to be. Um, I definitely wanted to like add like cameras and stuff because I love like yes yeah, yeah like the visual yeah of it. like kind of make it like a Joe Rogan podcast have yeah you ever bro seen that? yeah oh bro and I'm, like I'm up on all that so like that that's my goal is and just literally talk about just basic shit I don't know just fun shit like nothing boring obviously nothing too like um, formal yeah just kind of have fun right just kind of have fun. that's exactly. how I, that's how they goes bro like yeah. like we have topics that we go go into right. but like those always happens, veer off yeah. into other yeah. shit yeah, 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 exactly. and it's like you know what I'm saying but it's, it's, fun. it's fun it's fun and I can program like it has pads it has two four six eight it has like eight pads on the side yeah, yeah. and I can program each pad like like to press it yeah and you can take phone calls in on it it's oh, got a phone what? call and it's bluetooth dude so like, that's that's so like I'd be like oh we're gonna take a break real quick and I can go on my phone and and then I could like um turn the music up and turn our vocal level down and so like it'll be like an intermission Whoa. and it'll be like one of our so like so this is and what we do is like we play our song so we'll be like yo this yeah. is uh so and so from scraper gang uh out on itunes check it out we're gonna take a brief uh three minute break and we'll be right back and then we just That's do it and then ass. it's just music you know what i'm saying That's what's and you up. can take phone calls right on it so somebody calls in it goes right onto the podcaster yeah you know what i'm saying and so it's recording on there you know it's dope as fuck That's what's up, man. That's the shit. Only thirteen hundred dollars, bro. That's crazy. I spent like bro. easily like two racks, three racks on that. Thirteen hundred, bro. Uh, there's there's other like bundles and shit, but the bundle I got it came with uh 
came with two mics, uh, two mics in the in the the podcast. Right, right. And then yeah, bro, it's raw as fuck. And then I, I bought all the like the little stands and shit. I really want to get the arm stands, the big ass arm stands, oh, like yeah. the Joe Rogan shit. Yeah, but yeah. but I don't have a we don't have like a set place yeah. where we're doing the podcast yet. For sure. And now I, I have my basement where I pretty much do everything, but like I need to actually right get a spot, to, get the money and shit. Like get get a nice like like bro, I want to get an office building, bro. Yeah, that's what I want, bro. Shit, that's dude, what like I a want. nice ass building. Cause that doctor dude, he offered me a office space. Yeah. That shit was nice, bro. How I'm much like, was he trying to charge you? Nothing. Free. Oh, shit. I had to deny him because just, like, all my gear, like, is in my house, right? So, like, I would have to go there to pick up gear if I wanted to come here or something like that, you know? Uh, yeah, I'd yeah, like yeah. to have everything, like, either at my spot yeah, or, like, where I do my shit. And, like, plus, like, if I'm working, bro, I'd love to just wake up, work. Right. Or, like, you know? I say the perk because I've been there, too. So, I had a loft. Do you know the um, uh, the Burnham Lofts downtown? No. Right across the street from District? No, I've never been to District. You've never been to District? Okay, no. so downtown, they have lofts, and they're nice as fuck. So oh, yeah, like, you were telling me that you used to live in a loft. Yeah, bro, yeah. so that, that's one of the perks is, like, I thought it'd be cool, too. So, like, literally, yeah. literally, I wake up, my living room was this right here, right. my studio. Uh, yeah. So, like, I wait, and then I open my window, and it's District, so it's, like, you know what I'm saying? In right. the street. So, it's, like, though, it was perfect. But then it got to the point where it's, like, okay, so if I, if I need to grow my business, yeah. because I'm, I'm over here, like, bringing people into my, where I Right, right, right. No, of slip. course, of course. Even though it's like security, I have to buzz people in and do yeah, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But like, there could be a situation like where I don't know, so, like, yeah. you know. So I'm like, man, you know, if I if I want to grow, I really have to like, I need to get like a different. Especially spot. for you, because you you have to have the clients come in course, and whatnot. Of I course. mean, unless you work from home for like mixing and mastering stuff. Right, which I do a lot of that right, shit too. But right. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like it's just the fact that like. It's, of course no, it's just you. a comfortability thing you know yeah. but i did love like being able to just roll out exactly, of bed and just bro. go right or like if it. i if i'm waking up or if i'm not going to sleep till like 3 a.m like i can just play a quick game of cod right next to that's right what I'm there saying, and yeah. then just go back to work exactly you know what yeah. i'm saying so it's it, it's really cool it's really cool but eventually you're gonna want you're gonna want your own spot because yeah. it's it's just the feeling bro of you waking up and going to your own spot yeah you know what i'm saying it feels like nice. it feels if it, it feels for sure. nice for as sure. fuck, you know what i'm saying and then and then people are like oh where are you where are you at you know what i'm saying something right. like I, just the fact that i have to be hesitant on telling people to come over right right no know, i get because you, it's my crib because a lot of my a lot of my clients are kind of like older people right like <laughs> all my friends my like my like i wouldn't say employees but my associates yeah they're like um they're my age, right? So, like, it's right. cool having them, but they have their own little spot, their own desk in my basement. Right. Like, yeah. I have the whole That's basement dope. to myself, right? I seen that on your uh, on your videos. Oh, where? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you got, like, that whole foamed off wall, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, me and my dad built that, and then we have desks on the side to, for, like, laptop stations and desktop stations, and we got a product table. And then on the other side, it's kind of like a big L, right? So, like, like here's, like... Like the L, and then it comes out this way. Okay. Um, over here is like the studio stuff. Here's like desks. Here's a product table, and over here is just like TVs and. Oh, so you got the whole basement. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So. How's your like your mom and your dad? Like they really supportive. Yeah, bro. Like, like so, like, they're, um. They're not very like hey like I want to hear your stuff or right. hey whatever but like they're like you know you're happy doing this thing that's awesome right. just um just you know, like keep at it um. Just keep going to school and stuff. They, right, they right. don't know like I'm done with school and shit. So like. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they're like, yeah, I'd rather just have you do this shit than just do drugs and shit. I was like, yeah, oh, for God. sure. Yeah. And then like when I got robbed, my dad like loaned me money. <laughs> Bro, I love this sample so much. Yeah, sample I'm dope. so happy we were able to use this. <laughs> I heard one beat with this sample in it that sounded like it sounded like so clear and like real like right it, it was Dude, crazy I was like there's this other this one fucking sample I was just fucking ah oh, to my fucking lap but it had beat it had like beat a beat and shit around it already so I'm, I couldn't let me bring this up here I started heavy into doing that. See, like this right here, that hat. Yeah, it's called slept on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You you made that? Yeah, it's my shit. That's Bro, I've seen that shit somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure everybody probably everybody has. So this is like your the it's damn. Mine, right? yeah, slept on. Yo, who who did I fucking see with that shit? 
I gotta introduce you to my boy Lamont too. He he nasty with it. Who? Lamont. Uh, LW Photography. Oh yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. 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 He's, he's right down the street. My, he's my boy too. Yeah, he's done a lot of shit for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Man. Yeah, he and I, um, we've been doing a couple of vlogs and shit here and there. I forgot how we even met. I I, I was on IG and I was fucking with this shit, and I hit him up. I was like, hey man, I'm shooting a movie. If you wanna come on, like. Like, you know, help out and shit, because that definitely made help. And right. He came through, and he just took some BTS pics. And it was just Bro, I, f I fuck with him. I think yeah. I think if he had a better camera, he yeah. would be cold as fuck. I, like, I'm teaching him a lot of shit right now. Like, yeah. I'm trying to, because um, he, he could, he has a lot of time, a lot of talent. Yeah. He just needs, um, just so, like, like a you and me type yeah, of thing. Yeah, I'm I feel like, you. Like, like I a feel mentor you, type. Like, cause I feel you. I got to teach him about, like, sensor sizes and different lenses and, like, right. you know, other shit, which, like, I love to teach. Just to people who like to learn. Right, exactly. Exactly. So yeah. for this one, bro, I'm thinking, like, uh, what I wanted to know your opinions on a couple things. Okay. So, um, I wanted to know how you think we should use this auto-tune. So in my head, I'm thinking kind of like, so the other one we went kind of heavy on, right? Yeah. Or like, Cause right? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, that was cool because I was like, like I was drunk. Yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. So on this one, I'm thinking like, we gotta like see how we want to mix it in. I'm trying. To, I want to see how you come in first. And okay, see, for sure. Yeah, for sure, we gotta see sure. how the auto tune but, sounds and and see what uh, let's see what what we sound like and shit. Um, okay. Cause like the type of delivery I'm trying. To, I was thinking, I'm not. Even, I don't even know exactly what I want, but for the the delivery that I was feeling was kind of like Drake on his song Fear. Let's see. This was one thing that I, I thought about because like you can feel like the when you were telling me the techniques about like kind of having like a little breathy. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck with it. Um. But then again, I want to hear what your take is too because yeah, I have no clue. I, I, I mean, I fuck with that. I fuck with that sound. We we let's see. Uh, let's let's test the waters real quick and see what. Because then again, like Russ's delivery on that one song was pretty solid too. Obviously, I can't fucking sing yet, but. This is more a bit it's more, more aggressive. rappy. Yeah, yeah, it's more rap. Yeah, because the lyrics are a bit more rappy, but like I really fuck with like some of the stuff that we did with the Gone thing, kind of making it like a bit like rap sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mind if I take a water bottle? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Help yourself. I really know some other shit. Ah, ah, ah. Another um theme to keep in mind. So throughout the whole movie, the every little aspect is kind of showing my downfall. So how I ended up killing myself. Okay. And um, so every small thing that we've done so far is kind of like showing that. A do another dope ass thing I did for the Gone music video. Uh -huh. um, here, I'll show it actually real quick. It's, it's fucking insane, bro. So what I'm doing is throughout the whole movie, I'm going from saturated to desaturated. Oh, so by the dope. end of it, it's like kind of black and white. That's dope as fuck. That's dope as fuck. Yeah. That's dope as fuck. But like okay, slowly yeah, I'm going like, yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. dope as fuck. I fuck with that. So like that's kind of like an overall theme kind of going on with everything. So I was thinking that's with dope. this one, since I'm like going on this date, I'm excited for this date, whatever. And then halfway through, I'm kind of like, oh fuck. And then at the very end, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like locked off. Right. So I'm thinking it's kind of like, um, progressively we add more things or like so something like that, you know? No, well, that's just you. something to keep in the back of our head. Yeah, we we can uh we could do some uh, cause like how you added the bass and stuff that was cool because yeah, at that. the end I'm like I'm done I'm done yeah. with this shit I'm done with all the I'm, we I'm can even do it. like um cause like sound like sound like sound effect wise yeah like we can line up some sound effects yeah, too yeah. like like uh anything it don't even matter what it is but uh not even just sound effects it could be uh how like in scary movies like. Like when something's about to happen, like you just know because it's like yeah. happened like that. Yeah. 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 Like some shit like that. Right. Like we could do some like, but like incorporate into the beat so it sounds good with the beat too. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Not just the sound effect by itself. So, yeah. Yeah, we could we could definitely do some shit. Let's see how you're coming on this. And then... oh, another thing, I had um a question with the bars. The bars. Okay. Yeah. So I wrote these a long time ago. So I was going back at it. I was like, yo, I should maybe tweak a couple things. Um. 
So it's, I'm wondering if I'm gonna get a text back, staring at my phone with the whole screen black, half past 2 a.m., no notification. So I kind of switch up the flow after two bars. Okay. So it's half past 2 a.m., no notification. Um, so I'm debating between these two. The original one was hoping that you, hoping that you didn't forget about who I am. Okay. And then the new one I wrote just to kind of match this one a bit more is want to know if you're safe, send me your location, half past 2 a.m., no notification. So the ni rhyme notification and location, but this one was rhyming who I am and 2 a.m. Because want to know if you're safe, send me your location. I fuck with it. It's kind of like, eh. Okay. I think it's, I think I like the hoping you ain't forget about who I am. Yeah, I like yeah. that one better. For sure, for sure. So, so you, yeah, we could do like no, no notification, half past two. Well, I gotta, we gotta figure out how it's gonna for sure, for sure. go with the beat, okay. but I like that. I like that better. Bad, bad, bad. That was the original, anyways. Yeah, so, so I'll just let you warm up a little bit, all, all right? right? For sure. So I want you to. I'll just keep going through it or whatever. Yeah, I'll keep going through it. Yeah, I yeah. want you to just get comfortable with it. We'll warm your voice up a little. I'm wondering if I'm gonna get a text back Staring at my phone with the whole screen black Half past 2 a.m. No notification Me why So for the hook, what's the hook? It's that That's simple. Simple. Yeah. what that is? Cause I think that's kinda like homage to the beat and the, the thing itself Tell me why And like it really ties into the message of like It left it being left on red I give a fuck about it I think we should sing. I think we should do like what Russ did and sing it too. Yeah, I think we should sing the, the verse. I think we should. Or the, the chorus. Yeah. I think we should. I, let's keep let's keep going with the verse. Just okay. keep keep repeating the first verse. Uh, I think uh, I think you need try try it a few different ways. Try it a few like, different. Okay. When I when I when I when I go in when I go in like to to record a song like what I do is like I I just do a bunch of gibberish, mm -hmm. do a whole bunch of gibberish, um, but I just kind of see what would sound good and where it would sound good. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, this flow sounds really good and this flow sounds really good, but like, which one am I going to use for the verse? Which one am I going to use for the hook? Okay. Yeah, or is this a bridge? You know what I'm saying? So like, just do a whole bunch, like try different things. Okay. And not only try different things, but like, how you're saying certain things yeah, too. Yeah. You so know what I'm saying? So try, yeah, different, okay. your different delivery. So you could try like real... I'm wondering, or I'm wondering, man, 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 about notification, man, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, you try okay. more aggressive, yeah, try yeah. not, you know what I'm saying? Like, just try a whole bunch of shit, right. and then we can, we can see what, For what's, sure. what sounds the best, sure. you know what I'm saying? I like the whole Drake, uh, the whole Drake Russ vibe, like, where yeah. it sounds like, it just sounds super clean, like, not too much. Right. Not too much going like, on. Like like I'm like really close to the listener. Like yeah, exactly. Like like, you like you're almost right next to him. Yeah. yeah. So I, I fuck I fuck with that those beginning like two three bars. Okay. I, I like those. Um, For sure. I I definitely still think we could do better. Oh, most definitely. I yeah. think um, let me uh I'm gonna change some of these levels. Think. So a little a little timing, but as far as the tone goes, I really like the tone. So right. really, really, it's just it's that bit. It's just, so you know how I said, um, what's the fucking lyric? Told me that you love me. Now was that a joke? I yeah. kind of went up with it because it's like a question. Yeah, right. Yeah, was that solid? So, so, Yeah, I think I could have it like um told me that you love me now was that a joke? I actually like I like like as far as that that one goes like okay. this take I yeah. fuck with I like the actual take like I would keep this. Okay. I would actually keep that for like the um, For sure. For the I actual joint. Yeah. But um Let's let's okay. do the same damn, thing. Damn, bit. So I gotta come in with the bin a little bit harder. Damn, yeah. So damn, okay. been about a been about a week. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's gotta come sure. right on it. Like notes, like way before. Yeah. I would kind of like, cause I'm like a very visual person, right? Mm -hmm. Um, what I do is like, I either underline or put like up arrows for like Ooh. parts to go up on or whatnot. So underlines are um, for, are kind of like rhymes. Okay. Text back, black, who I am, two a.m. Okay. Um. And then I've been kind of doing like the inflection points on them. This was, I did this ever ago. So okay. that way, um, I don't know if, like, does that sound good? Like when I kind of have that more inflection on depending on like what words, 
Like, so the reason I went up with the joke is kind of like when you ask questions, you kind of go up right. with it. So you're talking, yeah, so it's like, been about a week since we last spoke. Like, right. that, like, week yeah. since we last spoke. No, it sounds good. For sure. It sounds good. Yeah, I fuck with it. For sure. I'll I like, what we have so far, I, f I fuck with. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. If, yeah, if yeah. I did, if I didn't fuck with it, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Right, right, right. I definitely wouldn't, uh. Yeah, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm picking up so much shit from like, just like, sitting in these sessions is just trying to see like, what's up good and shit. Yeah, bro. Um. You're definitely, uh, I could tell from last time to this, t by our last song, yeah. by our last song, like, you're gonna pre, you're gonna have, you're gonna have a lot down. I'm, I'm excited, bro. That's, uh, I'm fucking hyped. Like, this project is so fucking insane. Like, I can't, like, I keep hyping it up, but, like, it's just so, like, massive, man. Like, I don't, I don't it think is, people man. understand. People, are, people are never, that's why I'm glad, like, you're, like, recording it as yeah. you go, too, is because, like, people don't understand, like, the time and just everything that it takes, the energy, right. just everything that it takes to do The all small that little shit. details, yeah, like, going just for into the small everything. Shit. Yeah, bro. It's, it's gonna be fucking insane. Yeah, we just, uh, my boy Shaq, he just got, uh, that's Nephew Sam. That's the one I did the last project with the Stay A Little Longer project. Okay. Um, he, um, just got a new spot downtown too. And, um, cause I would have it at, I would have it at my crib, but it's like, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of weird when it comes to that. Like, mm -hmm. I, like the only people that have been to my crib are like my closest, like my closest right, friends. Right, right. Which is them. Like, they're my closest, sure. they're my best friends, you know what I'm saying? But like having i don't know like i'm just weird about my space man like you know like my <laughs> house like my house is my house like yeah. i don't really like shit where i of eat of course shit. Man, of course i'm super fucking like like a team oriented person so yeah. like my end goal is to have like a huge team house with just like my whole team just with their own rooms or whatever they we have like a group i don't know man i, I, I feel i'm you. a very like energy person because like when you have like People have told me when they're around me, they feel ten times more motivated to go do something because oh yeah. they see me doing stuff. They see, so they're yeah. like, "All right, cool. Like, I gotta get to work. Or, yeah. You know, like, like let's just jump on it." And um, I just love that productivity, you know. Yeah, bro. I feel you. I feel you. I like being like that too. That's been one of my. Uh, that's just been one of my things too. Is right. like people just. I don't know why. Like, what about me makes somebody want to come to me and and like, just have like help me right, <laughs> like right like what the hell like it's because you're serious about your you path know, bro it's your, yeah like, you know like, what i'm saying when you take yourself seriously like other people start taking oh 100 150 percent. that's yeah that's that's why i like the like scrape whole like scraping shit yeah just because i mean we got the younger kid the, but i'm trying to teach the younger like right, kids right, like right, right, right. how to be like that like yeah. bro like stop stop surrounding like Exactly. Stop surrounding yourself with the people you're surrounding yourself with and watch your life change, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You are who you surround yeah, yourself exactly. with. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, you're, if your best friends go every Thursday to go play basketball, what are you more likely to do? You're right. probably going to go play basketball exactly. with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, man, come on. Like, why do you think Warren Buffett hangs out with... Um, Millionaires. Bill Gates, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't hang out with us. Entrepreneurs. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. This is probably my second favorite song on the album. This one right here? Yeah. I fuck with this song. I like this And the one. merch for this is pretty fucking dope. It's like Apple themed and it's like like text bubbles and shit. Oh, and that's dope. It says like, La, it's going to say like, you know how it's like red? Yeah. Like whatever, whatever. That's, that's what it's going to be like. Couple, oh, shit. Uh, couple little text bubbles here and then it's going to be like red. And then that's 913, <laughs> like the number, like that's kind of like. It would be like, dope because it's left on red. Mm -hmm. If it was like, if it said if it had dot 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 like the dots yeah like they're about to text yeah but but then that'd like, be cool too huh that's dope. That's dope. yeah that's dope as fuck. and then like at the very end of the the, the move or not the movie but the the scene for this thing um it's the girl making out with a guy on like a couch or something and the camera's like let's say like this is like the the nightstand okay. this is like the bed yeah the camera's like right here and it slowly like pans over to them, but they're not in focus. The ki the phone is in focus. Oh, right that's here. dope as fuck. Yeah. And it's so gonna it's... just light up with the text messages that that's I text dope her. As fuck. Yeah. That's raw as fuck. Okay, so what we could do is I'll bring my all my sounds. I'll give you all my sounds. For sure. And then um I can we maybe, in so we can knock this song out on Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. So next week Tuesday, knock this song out, and then um 
the following week, which would be um, our next session, um, I can come to your place. Okay, cool, cool. And then what we'll do is um, I can make the next beat. There. Over there. Yeah. yeah. That'd be dope as hell, bro. Because whatever I do over there, I can always take the Transfer, file and yeah, put it together. Yeah. So. What week was that again? Uh, that's going to be uh, not next week, but the following week. So not this week, this week. Oh, dope, so the 12th dope, dope. through the 18th. For sure. Yeah, yeah. lit. Whatever. Yeah, so I'm working on this uh, mixed collaboration with my partner, who's a Spanish artist. Yeah. He um. Uh, the bachata trap stuff. He bro. Was talking about? Yeah. So I just, so my my guy in New York, he he's in a band, bachata band, and he's fucking insane on the guitar with the bachata shit. But uh, we did uh, so we're doing a mixture of this shit. I'm sure you heard this. And we're shooting this video in Mexico. A word. Yeah. Damn, bro. When? July. Okay. Yeah. So it's just a reference, but we got it all down yesterday, finally. 